Then, I don't care how much elastic you put in it. <laughs> but this solely God has something here. What Hannah was trying to say, this was a custom. This was tailor-made for my son Samuel. It was not made for Eli the priest. It was not made for any others, those who served in the temple. This was made for my son Samuel. He's had a growth spurt. And this here tailor made and designed for him. You see, some things, what God has made for you won't work for someone else. Just as Saul in the Old Testament, when David went down to the Valley of Eli, 1 Samuel 17, and he went down there to fight Goliath, and here he was, and there was Saul on the sidelines and fear and trembling. He took his armor off when David got ready to go into the battle and he tried to put it on David. David was a young lad and said Saul was an older adult and he tried to take that which is older and put it on that which is younger. Have you ever seen some people try to make some young folk grow up real quick? Let them be young as long as they can because they'll get there soon enough. <laughs> but sometimes we try to make a round peg fit in a square hole and we try to make it work. Daddy played football. You need to play football too. If he doesn't have a desire for football, he's doing it for all the wrong reasons. God is designed certain things just for you. And what works one year will not work to hit another. And church, sometimes we get hung up as fads in the church. We like fashionable. We like things. Do you remember how that revival that we had five years ago? If we could only get so-and-so back and get the same group, maybe we could have the same revival. Do you know I've never seen two services alike? In all the years I've known Jesus Christ and been preaching the gospel, I've never seen one service. This service this morning was tailor-made. It was solely designed for you. It's one of a kind. I'm about to close. The third thing is, try to be, is uh, the third thing is when Hannah came up, she brought a consecrated. This was a consecrated. It was not only a clean coat, it was not only a custom coat, but it was a consecrated. It was set aside for the service of the Lord. He was serving in God's house. Do you know what God, when he clothes you with the robe of righteousness, he cleans you, he custom makes it for you, and he also wants you to serve him. <laughs> Do you know all the sacrifice she came up year after year, but that one year when she came up with Samuel, the Bible says there and back in chapter 1, verse 24, that if you read this, she took with him, uh, took him up with her with three bullocks, one ephah of flour, and a bottle of wine, and brought him unto the house of the Lord in Shiloh. And the child was young. She brought three bullocks, and she brought one ephah and a bottle of wine. She brought up a sacrificial offering. She brought up a drink offering. She brought up a meal offering. And you know all those did not, they would sacrifice the bullocks on the altar and put them on the brazen altar and all these other things would be dead but the only living sacrifice was Samuel. She gave God not a dead sacrifice, she gave him a living sacrifice. And you know what God wants us to have a consecrated that little robe and we come into God's house, it's for his service. The Bible says in Romans 12, verse 1, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your least reasonable service. She didn't bring him a raincoat. She didn't bring him a sport coat. She brought him a service coat so he could serve the Lord. Amen. Don't you want to serve the Lord today? Let's please stand. I want to have invite as they come with a song. But how about you today? Don't you want to have a coat exchange? You can take off that old coat and put on the new. You want to make sure not only at times you get clean with the Lord Jesus, but you stay, stay clean. Hannah brought up as she's coming year after year and was reminding as Samuel here. She wanted him to be, have a clean coat, a custom coat, and a consecrated coat. 
And God wants us children to have all those three, three things still today. If there's a need here at all today, would you come? Come down to an altar prayer. If you don't know Jesus, maybe you've strayed. Maybe you've gotten away from the Father. Got away from the Father's house. Why don't you come on back home? Arms wide open. He that cometh to me, I'll no wise cast him out. Would you come? Page 266. Whatever the need may be today, come.